Yo. What's up? I hear there's a play going on here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's called 12 Night by William Shakespeare. I've heard of him. What's it about? It's a comedy. They call it 12 Night because it takes place around Christmas time. If it's about Christmas, why are they putting it now? Stop asking so many questions and let me tell you what it's about. Okay, okay, go ahead. It's a story about two twins, a sister and a brother. They kind of look alike. I'll call them A and B just to make it simple. Don't they have names? Viola and Sebastian. I'm trying to keep it simple for you. All right. A and B are on a ship that gets shipwrecked and gets separated not knowing that the other one's alive. Now, A, the girl finds herself in a strange country, disguising herself as a boy, goes to work for C. Are you following me? Uh, I think so. Now, A, the girl falls in love with C, but unfortunately C is in love with D. So C sends A to tell D that he, C that it is, loves her, D that it is, and a funny thing happens. What? I thought you never asked. D falls in love with A, thinking A is a boy, not a girl. This is starting to get complicated. I told you so. Now, D has a cousin who drinks too much. I'll call him E. And E has a friend, F, who E is trying to hook up with D so E can keep on drinking. But F is drinking as much as E so they don't get anywhere with D. So, and D has a servant, G, who is secretly in love with D. So H, another servant, tricks G with the help of E and F into thinking that D really loves G. And then B, remember him, shows up and everyone thinks B is A. And then? All right, enough of this. You got me completely mixed up. But I haven't told you about I and J, not to mention K and L. I'll figure it out all later, and hopefully so will the audience. Let's see the play. Are the actors ready? I think they are. Okay, here we go. 12, 12 Night, Night by, by William, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me parties and a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Sir Toby, pipe down, you're disturbing my lady. But 12 night is a time for celebration. What a pig that we should take your brother's death so seriously. Surely care is an enemy to life. Let's live. Can't you confine yourself to more modest limits? But I'm already confined in these tight clothes. My lady fears that this coffin will undo you, and she is not happy about the name you're about to court her. Oh, Sir Andrew, he's a good man, brilliant, plays the viola, speaks four languages. He's a fool. He's rich. He keeps you in drink. How now, Sir Toby, bless the fresh roof. Bless who? She's done nothing but pester me, accost her. What's that? My niece is maid. A cost. Glad to meet you, Miss Acost. No, you dummy. A cost means to hold her, grab her, do something to her. It does. I know that. Brilliant, isn't he? Yep. Good night, fools. I must have eat too much beef. It hurts my wit. So told me I've come to tell that I'm leaving tomorrow. Why, dear knight? Your niece will not see me. The only man she pays attention to is her dead father and brother. Come on. We have more singing and dancing to do yet. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Most radiant and matchable beauty, you are the lady of the house. I'd hate to throw my speech away if you're not. Well, tell me the hideous matter you've come to deliver. Lady, your beauty is painted by nature's sweet hand. If you were never to marry or leave a copy behind, you'd be the cruelest she alive. Don't worry, I can make a list of my beauty and send it out to the world. For example, item, two lips, some are red. Item, two gray eyes with lips attached. Item, one chin, one neck, and so forth. I see what you are. You are too proud, but my master still loves you. How does he love me? With tears, with groans of thunder love, with sighs of fire. I will suppose you'll say he's noble, learned, valiant, and gracious. All those things and more. His love bores me. Your master knows my mind. I cannot love him and told him so long ago. If I loved you as intensely as he, I couldn't understand your denial. And if you loved me? I'd camp outside your doors, write love songs till your heart soared. I'd holler your name and not be still till Olivia echoed off every hill. You would do that all for me? That and more. Go tell her soon to send request to me no more. Unless you come back to tell me how he takes it. My master's heart is like flint, waiting for your spark. Farewell, fair cruelty.
Let me stay with you and serve you. No, you've done so much for me. I cannot let my sadness rub off on such a good man. What sadness? I had a sister, my double. But before you pulled me from the sea, my sister drowned. How awful. She was your twin? Yes. The far more beautiful and fair am mine. Now the salty sea has claimed it. Forgive me, but I am so near to tears. The memory of her will drown me with more salt water. Farewell. Where will you go? To find lodging. Then I'll go to the Dukes of Time and return home. Cesario, if you ever fall in love and feel the bittersweet pain it brings, think of me. What do you think of this tone? It really makes you feel what a lover feels. You speak as you know of love, boy, do you? I am devoted to you, master. Yes, yes, but I'll bet someone special has caught your eye. What kind of woman is she? Actually, she is like you. And how old is she? Well, about your age. Then she is too old for you. Cesario, go to the countess and ask her to be mine. Master, suppose for a moment that some other woman loved you? No other woman's heart could ever hold as much love as mine does. That may not be so. My father had a daughter who loved a man. And what happened to her? She never told of her love, but pined away, smiling at grief. Did this sister die of her love? I don't know. I'll be off to see the countess now. Beg her not to deny my love.